swanga afune kuti anachokaa hapo abwerelepo footing at vintu viribu hino bantu they've tried they've given them but first was kamba at 3 months in 3 months things will be okay kwa bwera ma 6 months tabo kamba kwa ndienda school bino unaona kwa mwana ana badwa less than 9 months 9 months ya pita one year hapa manje titamekira kwa 3 years bro hapa vintu vafika po ipa that even mupika ni pe kupeza pamera ero pika ni pe suma gula mkomboni ni bajoko ati ni ba drama Manya ngati wa ndrama na hivyo kaingi wa kugula saka ya unga mambo pimisa unga mapika ni pe peza mapamela ya limu mm. manje watu wa mkombo ni shazafika pati ndrama zeve za vuta wama small businesses kulibe bantu wavutika and that's the truth believe you me if these guys worked far much better than Edgar Lumu mm-hmm. i don't think he was going to come back but it's because of asama wapima na na ine ngasako na chita kwa bwino matini hapa You understand that's the reason why he has the courage to come back because ao na kuti a a abayai ku promise abenzi wa promise abantu bwino bwino no tiza kuti tanvaso za kuti tanvaso and they are the very good manifesto mm-hmm. the president had the 10 point plan ya mene nzo imba nayo kuri concert no have got a 10 for uh, minerals I'll do mm-hmm. this for chan chan kamba vabwin apa kuri zi bana na wina no i will be having my press conference to talk about the chan chan to address the nation my press conference on z bantu wavutika not only when we say pf for what and if we speak it doesn't mean because we are pf no me i'm speaking as an ordinary citizen who is with the people people are suffering let the government give us a clear roadmap on what we need watch the entire video my lovely viewers i mean from start to finish to get the whole thing Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Savage. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtatim Pundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I will be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. No. I am a junkie here. Ni wana watu wa minute zone wakula mpaka wasanduka pa mene walili hapa. And uh, the other thing that I would like to talk about mm-hmm. pankani ya majanki ni mm-hmm. Uh, you know the police all the time yes they are doing a comedy mm-hmm. job i would want to entirely blame them mm-hmm. but you know what they are doing is bama enda makomboni baza enda makomboni bagwira bafana wapeza wali milire bababwira gwira wapeleka ku masero then wa pasa tumirandu tumuono maningi what do they call the mulo is it miss demina offenses Ms. like ka ya ka idol and disorder and disorder so idol standing and stuff So we can get police since those cases can be seen in the court. Mhm. Waza pesa za kama 2 3 4 days. Waza ni police cha pega admission of duty. Futi wa kwele la mkombo. Wa ndo panga futi mirando za same. So what we need now is not to treat eh chironda. But then to zone root cause. Why is it that this time we got more chunks mm-hmm. as compared to Kudala? Where have we gone wrong as a country? Is it that because most areas manje more were easily accessible pali ponse pa menti funa? Oh. Maybe Uh, there's just something that has gone wrong is it the family ties that we broken as uh, as humans because you remember kuda mhm tezo pesa kako vija kama family vezo kondo kala mani kuli ba anko olonga tsumvera vakaziva ati mwina anko wako mkali vakabati uyu mwana saza kulira pano mpeke ni kuli ba anko vaso mm-hmm. then you go that side to be disciplined you understand mm-hmm. so uh, we need to sit down we need to work together with government to make sure that the issue ya majani keep the pants mm-hmm. because there must be a, a reason why we've got a lot of junks now. now now from from your assessment what what exactly do you say that uh, is fueling especially the rampant increase of junkism in most of these areas and it's good that you've talked about uh, the already existing intervention mm-hmm. zambia police service now and again they've given us statistics of how many people they have apprehended mm-hmm. from different communities but the problem seems to be persistent from, from just your assessment what do you feel is uh, the contributing factor that is fueling this increase in the number of uh, junkies mumakombono uh, i think lack of uh, activities okay lack of activities because if you have to look at these junks most mm-hmm. of the wafana 13 14 paja pakati kwa zuna bwera kwa group at maflafi mm-hmm. they were 12 years 13 tuna 10 years mm-hmm. so if you have to look at them you find that 
kuliko ka peer pressure kaja ko fanga ino ya makombo monga fitna kuli na makombo ne ndo kala iwe mtu abironga group waka mtu abironga group waka but when we were growing up me i remember very well we used to have to my play back and everything where the youth would go there play and come back but with the coming of gadas they sold all the play parks all the areas but chepo nkala kulipo kamene wafana wanga ende wenda wankala so what do they do mm. they end up wankala ma bridge ma kona then when angupeza gati asiri za school alipe vochita angala pa nyumba pa makulula kai ukasiza school you know if you want to sauka we expect to do kwa sera mm-hmm. ma parents in shito wasiriza it's up to you now to fend for yourself mm-hmm. so you find that wafana wamba chepo zunguruka mkombo what happens next to wamba kumwa mwa ujamuwa wakamba kumwa demand yamo wa cosmo wasonga zingo kumwesa every day what do they do they start now stealing to tumono tumono ma nyumba wakuba instead of parents disciplining them vamene wazachita wazampisha ujamwana pa nyumba eh akubaba ningi pana what will happen that child will start stealing pa neighbor pa neighbor wazwa oh kuno kwa tingene la jangi mm-hmm. wamba kukoma what do they do wamba kumenya abantu mu mchani mu mu makomboni so what government need to do is we need to come up with a um, with a with a plan Mm. which is going to be keeping our youth busy mm-hmm. more like maybe to ma to ma trades institution or mm. something don't go ngali on constituency level mm-hmm. so that my youth at least when we waje waka kuimbeka za kusiri za konshito they are kept busy mm-hmm. because what what happens is uh, most of the time our men wa join about junk me waje afana nili wali idol man ingi mkombo where they are doing nothing then the other thing which i feel is also contributing to junk is um You know a boy child mm-hmm. has been neglected in which sense a lot of organizations today that have been formed they are just protecting the girls rights the girl child but what about a boy child a boy child has been neglected there are no organizations that are coming up to protect a boy child mm. so we don't talk much about the boys we just expect them to grow up just like that but if we can come up together as communities mm-hmm. as uh, civic leaders and come up with organization that is also going to look into the plight mm-hmm. of a boy child you find that this issue will be sorted out mm-hmm. but for as long as we just be arresting them you get them today you lock them up you bring them after two days you bring them out this issue of majangi is a pitiliza let's give them skills wena ngo afana ukaenda mwanga pa mtendele bali wana mapepa ya mushe maningi ya school but you find that tukasi wa kunzira pa nyumba because you know most parents makombon they become hostile the moment you just finish school okay they expect you to start now mm. fending for yourself and doing other things they then stay away as you but ukai konga kuna vino za kwa mayad akafika the top of kuenda college ku invest mm-hmm. to kutu then you find that free education in mti na mu zambia at the moment kami each ta check carta uku kunyansi uku kwamene ma parents wambi ama kwanisa kulipia but what about teacher kuenda ku colleges why is it that na kwa hivyo swanga fake kwa ngalako free education so that baka siza kwa grade 12 wende chita kwa makosi wa kipi nako busy because wende mwafa na pesa kata wende mali zao tia mwishi mm-hmm. but iza koleji za vuta parenta na wana 4-5 wame nali pili lako mm-hmm. masekonda ali kukula mainfo and everything so upesa kati wafa na wambo pesa kati wafa na 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 wafa but if colleges my universities na hivyo anda join q yombo kambati free education believe you me issue wama janki za chepako If you carry out a survey today I can take you na kupeleka tie zunguruko ni majangi. Others mfana kambo kuza ma plan so. That would have mm, but how come is drinking like this? Mm. It's frustration and it's up to government to control this because believe you me this issue of giants is now a time bomb. Because these guys are becoming ruthless, they are becoming brutal, they are not scared of anything. It's up to us as parents as the communities to come together and find lasting solution to keep these boys mm. busy because we can't just be taking them to masero no watches mm-hmm. this is not enough punishment and besides mungo apeleka mu masero bakabwerera bakwera manje na njota yo ipa futi ya mova kuma futi mova futi wa bomenya watu you understand mm. then beer na even let the selling of beer be regulated beer now is easily accessible pali ponse pali show uza pesa pali mova swala ngana watu wale wakulisa mwana ni bilo 18 mm-hmm. wazampa sa mova kudala mimi i remember If they send you what they call kutuma endo kan kuri yako chiwoko mhm we were not allowed to enter the bar uzaona chewa mdara naona kabange na waza kukulira kono ani tuma kunyumba waza kukulira wabwera bakupasira for you to take back to your parents mm-hmm. below 18 it wasn't allowed but now these bars that are you know the all the shops now are like doubling with the being bars 
So beer is easily accessible. My drugs are easily accessible. Kudala tenzo vera jabat kuli kokeni kuli chani. These days my drugs are found everywhere. And this is where the problem is coming in. Let's regulate the selling of beer makomboni. Let van do. Vamena kuli samwa wakariwa jawali licensed. And let the people who are below 18 years mm -hmm. not to be allowed to mm -hmm. drink beer. Me I remember kudala. Ngati mwa aliense mukuru was considered to be a parent. Mm -hmm. Akupeza ulumwa panga, tezo kundu panga sometimes upanga munga chifu wa kachabe cha pepa ya kareka, mm -hmm. wachiyashi. Mm -hmm. Mudala chazi pitero sumu ziwa mbama minaza kumenya, kukwila, baka kupeza kwa maparents. Na peza mwa anape mafaka. Ukafike kwa maparents kukwa pula. But now, with the coming of human rights, mm -hmm. bambi vayo upa, every person is concentrating on his own children. Because once I have noted discipline, wana umzake, unauna voipa. Because of equal rights. So you find that Kajakan Kalidukatum society, Mumakombo, Kachokapo has a social aspect. Tiopa Gambi, Vayopa, Kanyama, Yamala Mura, Mene, Inkani, Omangio. Majitika on a constituency level. Among the many things that I've uh, appreciated, I've, I've, I've had uh, conversations with councillors from Munari constituency, yeah. and last time uh, it was uh, Honourable Mike Mpocho sitting where you were seated there. Uh, yes, and I asked... <laughs> <laughs> and, and I asked him a question whether um, uh, we have failed to find the long lasting solutions, most especially with junkies and not. Uh, he, he explained something of, uh, of essence also with regards to personal responsibilities from the parents and all that stuff. But with regards to the measures put in place, uh, he says uh, the Constituency Development Fund, CDF, is part of the solution to the problem that we are facing because of the skills bursaries uh, component that uh, exists within the CDF itself uh, as well as the empowerment projects uh, that youths are venturing into through the formulation of uh, cooperatives. From just how you've understood this rationale of school bursaries and all that stuff, we've heard that in some constituencies, youths would uh, um, uh, enroll at this institution for, 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 for a trade, but at the end of it all, get out of that particular class and they feel it, it is not giving them the monies that they make when they are on, on the streets. With regards to this component of CDF and how um, councillors have said that it is part of the solution to jankism. Is, is it working out in Monani constituency from your level of understanding or possibly there's some, somewhere where we're getting it wrong? Uh, uh, my guy, to be honest, mm -hmm. uh, what I can tell you is that uh, CDF in Monani is mm -hmm. invisible. If it's working, then I'm not seeing where it's working as compared to what we see on social media from other constituencies. Because most of the same things are not being done in Monani. Ukalangana or CDF, I mean, but no, for them to apply for CDF. CDF pressure, I mean, it's more. Mm -hmm. CDF, yes, it's a good idea, but it has, it's highly politicized. You, you understand? Okay. You find that WDCs, the Mawad mm -hmm. Development Committees, mm -hmm. most of them you find that they belong to a certain political party. So it becomes a bit of a problem for somebody, or in Mwana Wanga, for instance, Mwana Wanga. They know that this is Thomas Sparrow's child. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mwana Wanga, Akachita apply the fact that sometimes. I'm mm -hmm. against very much the Boma and Boko. Mm -hmm. You don't expect my son to get that CDF. Okay. Why? Mm -hmm. Because WDCs have been politicized. Me, what I understand, that's mm -hmm. why me, what I wanted to do even in Nile, what I wanted mm -hmm. was to make sure that WDCs mm -hmm. are just run by non politically aligned individuals. People who are not politically aligned to any political party. Because right now, if you go in Nile, three quarters of the people who sit in my WDCs, it belongs to the ruling party. So, if you are against the ruling party, and you know Makombo, Tizibana, Tizibana, we know which pancha so, we know which pancha so, we know which pancha so, because we mingle, you understand? Mm -hmm. So, you pensa that, you want to watch Pani B, why in Dako, who you want to apply brand, Muntuanga, Ozamba, Shemgo, Siriza, Pain, in my paper. Then again, there is no proper transparency. A lot of people are not guided on how to apply CDF. To me, I feel it's just a gimmick so that because Ukalangan, three quarters of the way random check, you start asking them, CDF, for that, what apply branch? They are failing to get that. So, CDF in Munali, the only thing that I've seen, ni vito tivamene wanatia. Ndia vanena onako, but the problem that we've had, Vikariko, if there are any, what do you call, cooperatives that have received CDF, ah, nishayo ma cooperative kaya, because me, 
Mumunali, the people that I mingle with every day in Makombo, three quarters of the people, you can ask 10, 20 people about CDF. Most of the people don't even know how to, to apply. Yes, CDF can be a game changer, but let's come up with maskews training muma mm. constituency so that the, the kids are able to learn to maskews zambo spangi rako ndrama haka punzira let's say well di azalema usikuwa sazangana mpambu zambo uka usikuwa ndo umenya mandu wakati that the following day anaka jowika jowaka na endo mm. chai but for as long as the youths are just idle and cdf is being politicized this issue is here to stay that's why i'm saying we need to sit down let the civic leaders let the community leaders Let's sit down and find a lasting solution. Above all, WDCs, can't teach us politics. Let's make sure that the people that are in my WDC, up in my WDC, right at this door, right away. And already I've got information from my constituents to say uh, some party leaders want to organize the people who go to the civic center to go and vote for their own to be in WDCs. Now, the bad thing is, once it's politicized, other people are disadvantaged. Other voices are not heard because they feel, ah, kai we watch pan just so we can come But that money belongs to all of us because we are all taxpayers' money. When we vote, yes, we can vote for different parties. But when it comes to development, we all need equal development. When CDF is mm -hmm. being given, let it be distributed equally and fairly to all the residents. Because that money is not supposed to be politicized. Now, now it becomes more of a problem uh, when we, we get different statements from those who are seated in leadership positions, as, as well as you, um, who are contesting for this particular position, saying something that is different. For instance, I was taught by uh, Honorable Mike Mpocha with regards to the developmental projects that is rolled out within uh, Monali constituency, and of course this uh, uh, includes procurement of desks for schools as well as uh, uh, part of it, it includes the um, building of uh, school blocks at uh, these uh, uh, learning institutions that exist within the Monali constituency. Mm. With the increments that have been done for CDF, okay, we are 25, 28, now we are seated at uh, 30.6 million kwacha. Mm -hmm. CDF has been described as a game changer in other constituencies. Mm -hmm. In Munali, are you excited that there is this increment in 2024 budget of CDF? I'm excited that uh, the increment is there, mm -hmm. but it's not coming on the ground. Okay. My guy, mm -hmm. if this person is saying that uh, he's bought a lot of desks in Munali, which schools? Because at Mtendere there, the last time I went there, Napesa could pay my desk. I'm the one who took the desk there, or should be six to five desks. Today as I'm speaking, go to Chitukuko, go to Mtendere, go to Mtendere, go to Mtendere. There's a problem of desks. Actually, ingani amene wareta hii, wanitocha monga walotera. That's the problem. If I'm to play the voice notes from the parents from Mtendere community, yeah, mm -hmm. they'll tell you that the issue of desks is a lie. Yes, they donated kapena in the chapter 50 and kapena in the angati. When they saw me, kutina chita donate pa Mtendere, after about two weeks, they reacted by donating should be 50 desks or so. Mm -hmm. But how many students do we have in the, in, the, in Munali constituents? How many schools? Mm -hmm. That's why sometimes you journalists, when these guys come here, mm -hmm. you know, ask them for proof. Let them not just be, be ranting and talking. Ask them. Then you also guys, Try to be going on the ground. You go, you find out. Because most of the politicians that come here, they come here to protect their offices and their jobs. They can't accept to say, that's a lie. It's only an ordinary person from within the community who will tell you the truth. Because he's got nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. Because if an MP comes here, you tell him, no, uh, you just say, no, next to next to just to look good and to keep mm -hmm. his job. Mm -hmm. But when you go on the ground, you find that it's, it's totally different. Okay. Then which schools? Go there. Go and find out. Because right now, as I'm speaking, there's a problem in Mtendere. What they did was, there's a school called Mahatma Gandhi. Mm -hmm. Mahatma Gandhi, they've turned it into a full secondary school. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what they've done is, so I know my parents before Pamina up a holiday to say, Apa man Jevana, our school, our grade one, our chanchan, Panuka schools, as I'm about to watch Kuberako. Parents went ahead because you know their children were only better for my heart. Went ahead, bought my uniform and everything. When schools opened on Monday, they reached there, they were told, Kuno school, Vama primary, Infinite Community, Sakira Kuina, Goma school. Now, do you understand the 
the implication there mm. and the complication from parents, especially those who are getting small salaries. Upeza na wana watatu, anachika, you know, kuchita sacrifice kutia kule mainform na sapato za wana. Ma sapato si pressure mani, but mainform, because the new school they are going to go to, will require new uniforms, you understand? So as I'm speaking, uka enda pa mtendere, pali ma parents full, unga tukule aliku, wame na vila program ino, chinga wame ya kweratu mano full. Pali ma parents full, from here I'm going there to go and check. They are complaining they are not desk because my classrooms ya zula waja wonse wacho ka pa pa mahati waja mm. waenda manje kuchitukuko kumtendere odi mtendere nyu mtendere but nayo masukuru ya ja ni angono ko zivana waja ni vambiri me what i had expected was the leaders to communicate with the parents what mm. was the time was that okay by i tell me a minute gera you know school teaching because you need to have a plan mm -hmm. Then, while it turned my headmaster from all the schools, Wapa Mahati, Wapa Chani, Wapa Vera, Wapa Kaska Pans, my headmasters, look at that. Our one school, I meant that was Sapa. Wali Wangat, maybe by four P. Maskur Munari Gati, Yari, Yari, maybe four. Mm. You divide, you say, Imwe, Mzatenga Ko, Ababana. Imwe, Mzatenga Ko, Ababana. Imwe, Mzatenga. Not collecting my parents where the children have already spent, Pavana was a main form, Wafika Mother, Awe, Mfunga, and Sakiri Queen of School. There's a problem there. It's now those who've got connections and those who can, you know, in Zambia, let's just face it, corruption is everywhere. So those who are connected and who've got money are those are the ones that are going to find my places in my school. Mina. But what about those that are broke? What will happen? Because my school, Yazura Mduanga, Unga Village Fundo, I'm going to send you the, the videos. Mm. I'll go there, I'm going to send you the videos. You find one classroom, Mulivana 140. One classroom. Great one. But grade one or grade two or grade three, grade ten, because Panona can have a free education. I didn't say that they of school. Me also learn my class and the pupil ratio uh, issue. It's not even no. Mm. It's not even matching mm. because you find one one teacher. I put say one hundred and forty. Imagine I put say five subjects. Hey, can I apply my own subjects? Hey, I put say five subjects. So five multiplied by one forty. Is that how it's going to be? Oh, that's a question to me? Yes, to you. Mm. You are talking about almost 700 books, huh? Mm -hmm. There are many people between 10 hours and between 7 and 10 hours. Kutuwa pase chance wena mfutu wabule wangenemu. Are you telling me, teacher anga kwani se kuchonga mabuku yali 700 mu 3 hours? Kunzi sa 5 subjects mu 3 hours? Can a teacher manage? Mm. So you find that what is happening is that now, mm. in the long run, we are going to produce children who just attended school but learned nothing. Why my teacher now Valema? Because I'm not even thinking. My teacher they're just concentrating on those kids who are who are sharp. Vajakuti ni ni vikopo. Vaba lekere la masuru de nazi. Because are my teacher. I got to concentrate. Kuli vajaza pesa kati na wazi ya ya fika. Asafuni kati boy. Asafuni kati choke mo. A pasi chance classi na mwenye zaboe. So what the government need to do, especially when we have schools ya monadi, let them add my classes ya namo. Let them add my toilet because. So you find that I'll give you a practical example of Mtendele, mm. mtendele Basic. But mm -hmm. the toilet yali yali tuli four 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 to our moon. Meaning eight, yeah? Mm -hmm. Wambera. Mm -hmm. Natuaka twelve eight. But the one school wapa as I'm speaking, over four thousand. Over four thousand? Yes. So to my toilet to the eight mm. to our moon toilet. Okay, let's assume uh eh, Wamuna was two P. Navakazi was mm -hmm. two P. Yali eight my toilet. And there's no water on top of that. So you find that even Wabwana, So what I expect from CDF is to work on set on these these same issues. Let some monies be, you know, be put aside mm -hmm. for such. So that in case of a problem like the one that is, is in Tendere right now, we are able to come quickly, Nuamba But the people have been complaining. They will engage the the, the, the leaders that side, they're not doing anything. They try to go to WDCs. WDCs, most of the people, they're with the, with, with, with the current MP. They're on his side. So it's a problem. We have a problem that side. Has Honorable Mike in Porsche failed? Uh, I know because he's my political rival right now. You might say, no, I can't be a church. But to me, he's failed. If I want to say he's done well, uh uh, you know what church? Murungu as an shock because the problems that made me to stand mm. in 2021 mm -hmm. they're still there. The issue of Malodi, 
kumtendele east kumtendele east wana bwerana kama tupanga maroti wana tirapo kama vidoti genial they didn't even compact pamena tumvula twenze ko yonze maroti futi they are back to the same uh, state the money they used i'm told 6 million so 6 million just went down the the drainage how do you grade a road without making a drainage that's why i always give people an example of uh, bowling bowling ni kudala pamene dipak patero in the mp abo amiru panga ma drainage akalipo panga road apanga ma drainage so that manzi sianga lira pa maroti mm. yange na ma drainage yaenda mm. ife watu vambiru panga road without drainage so manzi yakabwera acho kana nomtendele pa ruti mm-hmm. manzi yakabwera yakokorola zonse miyala za mene wana faka zija zienda road isala futi mwa mene nzeli to me that's lack of planning what they needed to do was they needed to do proper ma drainage waje oxide kumtendele kusaidi kwa kali kitu kuja they've been having floods mm. year in year out what have they done nothing there people are still having my chan my floods good i'm the one who took the people and paid them kuti tifasuli akonya beka mforo vanhu vasazinkhala na manzi kuja kudown but all that is not being done to me uh, the mp the current mp i don't know vamene vim keeping up busy because when i listen to him on radio and what is happening on the mm. ground it's totally different sometimes you even wonder kama vichani ni mtu because most of the people mm-hmm. most of the problems that we've had are still there you, you're so privileged to uh, be gifted with uh, an mp who was seated as a minister of uh, water development as well as sanitation and this is a problem that has persisted also in uh, munali constituency for for the longest of time yeah has there been a solution by now nothing ndiye bana kuza kudala kuti kumtendele the issue of water is still there kwa kali kiliki the issue of water is still there avondeo cheston in munali the biggest problem that we have mm. the general problem ya cause apart from kalingalinga is the issue of water and having had you know right now we mm-hmm. got a minister mm-hmm. of water and sanitation so i expected to say ah uh-uh, ah i think maybe that's why i know na kuti mwa president no setting i think you are now not uh, you constraints kwa ke dia kuti ma problem ya manzi ka ndi mpase manzi ma pressure ya kaliko go to kaunda square today nkani ya masowage ikaliko ikaliko sira and the mp comes from there that is wood the issues go passed by sawa sawa zopeza mafasa up to now mumtendele part of mumtendele there was a project which was being done by ilevo which mm-hmm. i think unique got it what they did was that project was you was brilliant what they did was they were telling the people to bury mbimbuzi vao va kudala ma direct vatu va mkomboni so that you are there your flash wana afikirisa bantu ba manga ma toilet your flash va faka faka ma ma sua pipe pants but how do you flash without water because bantu wako pakati pa usiku tukwa and fetch water in munali constituency uzapeza 0102 yakabwera manzi wa 2000 na 2000 waenda watandama watapa manzi because some areas kuri bile to manzi or one This is the truth and nothing but the truth. If you want you can send your reporters on the ground they are going to find that what I'm saying is the truth. So now if the minister of water and sanitation is the MP of Munali constituency why not prioritize Munali? Why not help the problem that because he knows all the donors that come to me of uh, water and sanitation. Why is that stand is Munali? People are still having the same problems they are your man's This is live issues right here on live radio 97.2 FM and of course this morning I'm seated with the um, self-proclaimed combon president who is Mr Thomas Supano who stood on the position of uh, member of parliament in 2021 for Monali constituency and of course we are appreciating issues from there as well as issues of national interest when you go down to Facebook you find a video that has been shared on the live fm facebook page you can drop us your comment on that particular platform as well in line with uh, your comments as well as uh, contributions on the program this morning but let's touch on the issues of national interest not so long ago you were seen on uh, a forum uh, that had uh, a revelation of um, an alliance within the country that has been given a name now as uh, the Oka alliance and of course uh, i've seen you there many people speculated that uh, obviously now you've joined uh, this uh, alliance but of course under which party that uh, is uh, unknown Let, let's speak to um, uh, that particular alliance and your involvement as well uh, you know me what i can tell you mm-hmm. i'm an independent um, 
uh, candidate. Okay. Meaning, I don't have any political party. Mm. And I can go wherever there is a political gathering, especially of uh, same interest. I'll go there mm. and listen. So okay. the issue of mm -hmm. UCA Alliance, mm. to me, is not very important. What's important is to make sure that the people of Zambia get what they deserve. The people of Zambia, the economy and everything, the problem that we are going through, are sorted out. That's why I found myself there. For now, I can't say I'm in UCA or I'm what. I still remain Thomas Sparrow. But if UCA Alliance is going to say we are the solution to the people, some of the people there, yes, they've, mm -hmm. they've been leaders. We are the solution to the people. Mm -hmm. We've learned from our mistakes. I think you can do be better mm -hmm. than the current government. Mm -hmm. Definitely, who am I not to, not to follow uh, that thing? Because me, my interest first mm -hmm. is to see to it that us Zambians, we get what we deserve. My guy, Zambia, we are blessed. It's a very rich country. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate that we remain poor, despite having all these resources. That's why one day I even said, I said, one day Murunga Zagat goes up, my Zambians, why man's Ubutika, despite having all these resources. So the issue of Uka, to me, is a welcome move, especially mm -hmm. in this uh, democratic standing. It's, it's, a good, it's a good move. So that they can put to task these guys who are, who are just busy talking. Let them wake up. Let Uka bring checks and balances to the table that are going to benefit Zambians. Because at the end of the day, if this government which is in power now is doing good, we all benefit. If they go astray, don't say this out here. Yes, there are people. There are some groups. They will come up with a group to say, mm -hmm. as we just call radio station to counter, what do you say? Is it to counter attack or mm -hmm. to attack whoever talks yeah. about against the government? Mm -hmm. But the question is that before they attack, let them sit down and ask the, themselves this question to say, okay, fine, I'm defending this government. Mm -hmm. I, for one, am I enjoying what is happening? Is the economy okay? Because the greatest um, judge is yourself. No, but you are failing to do certain basic things at your own home. That's being so hypocritical and unpatriotic. What we need are people that are going to speak the truth. Because at the end of the day, these leaders that we have in power are just custodians of power. We, the people, are the owners of this power. We've got the right to ask them, we've got the right to question them. Why have you been to CV and so? Why have you been to CV and so? Let's put this government into, into, into task. Let's ask them important questions. Let's not just be, you know, uh, you know, citizens that are just going to sit and place everything. No, if the government mm. is wrong, let's tell them because... Whatever wrong policies, what wrong decisions they are going to make, we are all going to get affected. Now, with, with this alliance, obviously, um, you, you've been there, and of course, uh, uh, listening to them, one thing that has come out, even from the position of government, is that uh, this is a group of uh, frustrated individuals who have uh, hatred for the current president as well as uh, the, the government. Others have called it a sham, and just recently, uh, Honorable Cornelius Mueto called it a rebranded patriotic front. Looking into the agenda of, uh, of, of, of uh, this particular alliance, which you are still studying, whether uh, it is worth of you joining them or, or, or not, uh, and, and going by the legacy issues that we've been having with uh, party alliances, especially here in Zambia, would you say that the objective of the alliance or the agenda of the alliance right now is really clear from the position that uh, you, you've spoken on right now? Because you are given a platform also to speak there. Uh, yes, uh, I spoke there, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, just to, to take you back, mm -hmm. um, are you aware that even UPN is in an alliance? That much I know. You, you know that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So if you are to say that alliances don't work in Zambia, then we are, we are not telling the truth, because UPN also went into an alliance. Yes, some other mm -hmm. parties were smaller, but at the end of the day, it was an alliance. Okay. So, uh, you know, me, what I can tell you is this. Mm -hmm. Yes, they might be called frustrated uh, individuals, but sometimes mm -hmm. experience also matters. These people have learned a hard way. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. have learned, they've learned mm -hmm. a hard way. So, if they're frustrated individuals, mm -hmm. definitely they'll be 
within a short period of time, we will know to say this grouping is up to no good. Because they will be going for interviews. You will be listening to them. Then it will be up to the people to judge. Not the UPND members to be saying, no, it's a shan, it's a what. No, this is democracy. You let the people belong where they want. If UCA is a sham and, you know, it's a party of frustrated individuals, mm. yes, you can call it that because you belong to another political party. girlfriend mm. wako. That's not the, the best person to talk because that one is your rival. You understand? So you don't expect the UPND to like the UCA alliance because the soup that they're eating now, the top soup, those guys are threatening it. They also need that, you understand? So uh, whether they're just there as frustrated individuals or they've got a solution mm -hmm. to this country, mm -hmm. the future will tell. Okay. But me, what I can tell you, mm -hmm. from what I've seen, uh, the current government mm -hmm. has failed in a lot of, uh, of things, in the way they are doing things. One, communication has lamentably failed. There is no proper communication between those in leadership mm -hmm. of the new dawn and the people on the ground. We are just, you know, we are just left in mass speculations. I can tell you, the issue of fuel, they had put the subsidies to fuel, but they never told the people. Why? Because they were thinking, because Denzo should have a PF, could have a subsidy, as we can't. And I even read somewhere where they said, IF conditions can't allow subsidies. But they were doing that quietly. What, what qualification we were given from ERB perspective is that that is not a subsidy, but it is a, a, what? a strategic reserve fund. Fund. Yes. No, it's just another name, Wakuru mm -hmm. Naimwe. It's just another name, whether you call it sleeping in Shima or Chimbala, ni Chimbala, because what is subsidy? Can you define subsidy? Subsidy is, you know, kandarama kamonu kandarama fakapo, so that one to a sakuri pa mtengo dula. Now you amene, amene wana yuzinga, yuzinga, what was the money being used? Food wenzo fakapo pangono so that we can maintain mtengo wacha, mm -hmm. so it's just subsidy. But the problem is that what I'm seeing with the current government mm -hmm. is plied, because they attacked too much their friends. So it's very difficult for them to do certain things because people will say, ah ah, nagai mo panmozo shuta wanzani. But at the end of the day, this is reality. They're in power, and power is in their hands. It's up to them to look, to give it out mm -hmm. or to keep it according to the way they are going to work. Right now, as I'm talking to you, there's hunger, makombo. Njala eze irimo. Things are becoming so unbearable and too expensive for a lot of people to buy. Why? Because small businesses yakwa. Dollar. Ya kwela. Aya makampa nena kulisa kwa kulisa kwa tundu. Na hivyo mba kufakila fakila mitengo. Ero kalangana maroga mwono. Ni ambiri. Maroga menti na ayo mwono. Right now. Kone kangula. Kaya angati za kwela. Olonga kia kwela. Kuzanka za kwa kolola misale. I doubt if you are going to have. To have. To have a bumper harvest. Mm. But what happened was it last year. The former. Uh, government spokesperson. Was there machetes. Even it. Talking mushe mushe. No, we are selling 15 with certain metric tons. Mongawan. Look, you don't sell all the reserves. In case of anything, because right now there's uh, climate change. So you can't predict what will happen. But what is lacking in the new dawn is lack of foresight and planning. The Minister of Agriculture is on record in Parliament even saying we've got a lot of maize. But you have seen in the newspaper is you turned that no, we've stopped uh, exporting the maize. But Pajas of Ambati, no, we are not going to stop exporting the maize because we've got enough. Lack of planning. Let's be planning. The climate change now, you know, you can't predict how the rains are going, the rain pattern, because Mitego Zambi is not waste. What does the government need to do? The government now needs to start mm -hmm. investing in ir irrigation. Ninkania winter maize. Even right now, Lekani Boma is the old of ZNS. To my drama, to me, to my strategic chan chan reserve to choke or tina go to a center people to a passive as a DNS. Vambego Kurima, so that by June, July, that's on Bolaco Minister Chosako, so that at least we cushion the rooming hunger many where. Because believe you me, Gatimbura is a where, Ungatambo Gula per 500, 600 this year. Then Manja was no for a drama zingon, but no for a one pin, one pin two. Wakuma Industries good. Visa Chitikan Chan. It will be a problem because. Up right now, if you go to Machipata compound, you can go to the same thing, 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 when I'm going to my industry is coming. Why? Because, you can go to the same thing, 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 you can go to the same th
Asewe nzira zingati 50 kwacha per day or 40 kwacha. Mimi akakwera bus, nishaza sawa na 2 kwacha, then kuli lunch, alafu nikakudia tu, alafu nikakudia chani. Vivuta. So a lot of people are resorting into walking, not because to keep fit, but to masala in tumono, but life is becoming unbearable makomboni. And I know this is what vambili wa ma pressing as so much no invera yongani, but the truth is vitu vadula for a common Zambian. To my business, to mono, to mono, to agua. Then there is no hope from our leadership. The leadership is not coming to the people to explain, to say, Pano pamene tiendera, vitu please ilimba koni, vizakala so, 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 so. Tidabwa che vitu fikungu enda vinkali lako wese, vinkali lako wese. Uka kambako, vimba uko. Uka kambako, utuka niu. But the truth is, we won't stop talking. Because believe it or not, we only have one Zambia. If we are going to let Zambia go astray because we kept quiet, our great grandchildren will laugh at us. Things are not okay in the country right now. We've got minds. Kudia kwa zingati ngani ya ma minerals. Kuli ma tichai, ma tax holidays. And yet we are taxing one to wa ngono ma businesses to ngono. Siwa gona. Nato peza waze dara ya wangena mtu ma shop utu ndhe mba toma kombo. Watenga tax. But look at those big minds. How much tax are we giving them? That tax can be used to do certain things. But problem is leadership. Ima pezeka eve nga takudi ya lidia kuja. Aleta malipoti ya boze. Ameni ya msutinga because eve nukuta. But what about the country? We are suffering. That's the truth. We can put our minerals into good use and develop this country without mm -hmm. nagoenda kwa mbo kwadila wa ntukwendo wa mbo pemba. We've got all the resources. Why should we be waiting for white people to come and discover copper on the copper belt. It's just a belt of copper, of course. That's why it's called copper belt. Then we are that na pezapo copper. Mundu wanga. Sunga do pen drama mubanki. Ndiya manzi peze kan drama hai. So, mamene idili hapa. Tifuni kacha beti te buanji. Tifuni kacha beti te buanji. As a country. This is our country and we'll never have another country. Let's speak out. If we speak out, it doesn't mean that we hate the government that is in mm. power. No, we are speaking out because we want them to work. Time for politics is gone. It's now time to put things into practice. Whatever they promised, let them do it for the people. The people are just asking for whatever they promised. They were not being forced. No one forced them to say, Muzaka Mbabaso, Muzaka Mbabaso, Muzaka Mbabaso. We don't promise a week. No, by 14 hours, Dora is ago. But when Zoyembeke is. No, Uungao Zakala 50 kwacha. People are still waiting. No, eh, fuel is a cheaper. People are still waiting. So, when the people remind you, that does not mean they're insulting you. No. They just want you to tell them. The best that this government can do is come to the people and tell them, Vamenetenze kuhone na kuhunja. Sindhi every background. The issue of all the time, blaming PF. I've never been PF. I'm not PF. And I'll never be PF. But the truth of the matter is you can't just be blaming your your predecessor. Oh, hello. Chilimonga, wakwa tiramkazi. One neighbor is on Kumbia. One of my mother, Mr. Abuse, he had a child. One by manifesto, no Zaku Kurianka Vitz, Madame Musum Zamboidana, and the Sua Mira, Uzamba Kudia blade in a bata, Uzamba Kukala na jam on a chan. Ujam Kazi, no Sia Mamna, Ujam Kazi, Asia Mamna, Abuera Kuri. At about one year, Vitz is your necker and Gwenda Mind. Bata, see your necker manje, and be that to manje come out Diana Mashor. Afunseko, hapa muna wanga nanga <laughs> Ni buwaje kai muna promisa ka viti na chani No, you are being chan chani Maybe ufuna chaye wa mene ujama muna wako hey, It's because of your husband, that's why I can't buy No, listen we All we are saying is Let the government honor Their uh, promises mm. And besides us as Zambians Sometimes Let's think Above our political Aligning Okay it doesn't mean because you belong to a certain political party, you have to defend everything. No. Vintu mm -hmm. let's stand up and talk. Because these politicians are very clever. Mostly they use, if I don't see Gaza straight, but also Ponzira Manning. Kuti, Tiko Kachawa, Pasako Chetumu, Timia Katokta, Makandri, Kwacha, Nishifemanji, Tafanga, Tiribri. These politicians, they're making big. They're eating. They can't be telling us to say, no, we wait until things get better. Why can't they, if they, if they want to be fair, we understand. Mm -hmm. Let them come to relinquish their salaries. So that, if you want to pay their salaries, you can towards my subsidy. Because them, they're getting paid. There is no mm -hmm. way to say, no, you can't pay their salaries. Why are they saying that? But in the background. 
Well, well that's it. Before we open the phone lines to, to hear from the listeners as well, uh, there, there's a big issue in the country right now. I must believe that you followed it also uh, in line. Since you've already talked about uh, the communication crisis that uh, you feel exists in uh, the new donor demonstration, uh, two days ago, the Honorable Minister of Media and Information went viral on uh, various platforms in line with uh, the comment he gave, which he feels he was uh, misquoted. Uh, with regards to the relationship that uh, um, uh, the UPND shared uh, with uh, Honorable Chishimba Kambuin. And of course, this has landed him in trouble in that right now, stakeholders, uh, opposition political parties, as well as uh, civil uh, rights uh, activists are calling for his resignation, and uh, others like the Citizens First are calling even for the President Haga and Nishinama to step down because uh, um, uh, this strategy was not in the spirit of uh, the uh, general citizenry in the country, if really and truly it is what the UPND used of Honorable Kambiri, spreading uh, tribal remarks uh, for them to get into office as a way of decampaigning Edgar Chagwalungu. I, I want to get uh, your reaction to this. Uh, believe you me, mm -hmm. um, I was one of the first people that posted that clip mm -hmm. on uh, social media. Mm -hmm. That language was untimely. It was bad and must be condemned by all well-meaning Zambians. You know, what I've noticed is mm -hmm. um, our Honorable, the Minister of um, Communication, the Minister of Visit Information, mm -hmm. um, I think he gets carried away when he sees the cameras. Okay. That was unnecessary. And he even said it, and I quote, he said, let me now reveal that we worked very well with Honorable and he left his gasmo but he went alone there. You understand that? Huh? Then we then the whole idea was for Shimakambi to be issuing a, a what what do you call um tribal remarks tribal remarks mm -hmm. so that people Vangamboni Ramundani Edigarungu Amina Pesganai. You understand? Mm -hmm. The plan went perfect. But me as Thomas Sparrow, as a Zambian and the citizen of this country. I would say, if we indeed, uh, Honorable Mwetua, what he said was the truth, or maybe Kapena Nzana Blakako Mavis or something, mm. he just statement he must be condemned and he need to, to step down. Because there is no way you can tell somebody to start insulting your own people just because you want to win elections. No. That was very wrong. His English was very simple. And you know, in trying again to do the damage control, he caused the journalist. Because he's in charge of all the journalists. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's in charge. So when he calls, definitely you shiver because he's got the powers to say, okay, I will appear a Valerian. You understand? He calls the journalists and say, I'm going to pay you. Let's end it there. I'm going to pay you. Friendship. Then he started laughing. If, <coughs> you know, when I'm going to say, the best that he can do is, Ngati Chimakamu Indio, and I'm doing your test, come back later. Chimakamu Indio was convicted. Because of Vamenzo Kamba, when we have to do, hey, what Tonga? That what to vote? That what she chan? Ngati, hey, when they do that, you make a As it it was a plan. Then he, they, they did that whilst working together. That's jointly. They need to be jointly charged. So me, I recommend and I support what uh, uh, Comrade Friedman has done. We need the police to, to, to act just like the way they did Kuli Chimbakambuit. Because Winamui is self confession and it's all over. Anakamba, eh, Katina Seveza Pamozi, but it's come about tribalism. And tribalism is an offense. If he feels he was misquoted and he uh, feels this is not even an issue that this media houses we should not have uh, dwelt on because uh, uh, it, 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 the statement that he made was misconstructed. Wazum. Uh, did you pay my master's degree in literature or English? Mm -hmm. That was very simple English. He said, let me now do what? Begin to disclose. Begin to disclose. How, can you disclose something that is already open? Disclose, it means something was done in secrecy. Then now you want to bring it to the attention of everyone. Because that's what he said. He said, let me disclose. Mm -hmm. And he disclosed. So... Why is it that today he can come and start saying, no, I never said that. He said that, unless we use it in AI, but it was live and there were a lot of media stations there. That statement was untimely. It was done in bad faith. And if at all, Cornelius Mwekwa influenced uh, Honorable Kambiri and he was part and parcel of that team, him also 
is equally as guilty as the person who's uttering those statements. Because in this in this regard, we are going to put Kambiri as a hard microphone. Okay. He was just told what to okay. say because they work together and it's on record. So the best thing that he can do, mm -hmm. let the means of information resign, step down, just like the worker who did. Because is Amvutako because Anavi Kambaeka. At first, I remember before this, mm -hmm. he's carried his mouth again. He had said, I'm the one who is sponsoring confusion in the PF. Which he distanced himself. After from. two days, he changed. He said, You know, I think they might have uh, doctored the, the voice and everything. But he even Zagunami and Kosel. The best he can do, let him resign. I don't know. He ended up with a new don. A new don will be my man. Kuma information ministers. Kwa hizo wama problems hiva chosa, hata wanamonga ni solution, vale tela tumanje futi nae, wina ngu wes. The best he can do is, let him also go to court. Because kambira hapanga ujamlandu, wenze pamozi, joint recharge manji, wali pamozi. Go to Facebook, it is at Live Space Radio, 97.3 FM, and of course add uh, your voice to our conversation. John P. Pondela, good morning, uh, Mr. Thomas, uh, the presenter, and Mr. Thomas Siparo. I think Mr. Siparo means more well to the people of Munani. The truth of the matter is that uh, Mr. Mposha is a failed project. He has lamentably failed, though I am from Chipata compound, but I do have relatives that reside and I visit uh, Munani so often. All right, any addition on that? Uh, no, thank you very much, Mdala. Kent is Peter, this is our country, let's not get intimidated, let's speak out, because at the end of the day, by virtue of us being citizens, mm -hmm. we are all politicians. Okay. The only difference is that others are active, mm -hmm. whilst others just keep quiet. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, they say, uh, if you don't agree with politicians, you are a politician, because why mm -hmm. are you not agree? Mm -hmm. If you agree with politicians, again, you become a politician. If you distance yourself from politics, Again, you are becoming political because why are you distancing yourself? So at the end of the day, this is our country, Tent is one. Let's put our leaders into task. Tent is Kamba Makombo. No sayopa. Vintu ma problems it fit my own. Muna bezago, all wenze ku fana kolera, muna mbira kwati, empty or minister wa kutia fana kolera. Ndifa makombo. So if these people are not working in makombo, believe you me, zambo kana ma problems. Kulipati ndu wachi panichi, ndu wachi panichi. Let's put these guys to task. Let's make sure wazi sewenza. Oza tukungo tukunga chape mamoto kwa zone kata yamema campaign. Even never any can. We are not useful idiots anymore. Ta change era. Ta ziwa vambi chitika. We can't just be used to yamema yamema campaign. Mukombo ni akabwela lida oro ni kansera. Mufunse ni kopanda mandi hakopanda chikwi osayopa. Tell the person the truth. Because at the end of the day it's only the truth that will save you. Okay. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.